I've been asked pretty often to give advice to new and aspiring video bloggers, so for my nine year YouTube anniversary, I wanted to share some of the video blogging tips I've gathered from experience. I've been making videos on this channel for nine years. Starting a YouTube channel has given me so many opportunities, taught me lots of things, and introduced me to all kinds of wonderful people, so I would definitely recommend trying it if video blogging is something you're interested in doing. Right now I film with a Sony NEX 3N, which is a mirrorless camera. It's small but it actually has a bigger sensor and better quality than my DSLR, so its small size makes it a lot easier for me to get good quality footage even when I'm not in my house. It has a flip screen so I can see myself when I'm filming, which makes it a lot easier because I film alone, I don't have anybody helping me. I film using the camera's manual settings, which I adjust based on what the lighting is like, and I use the camera's built-in microphone for audio since it doesn't have the ability to connect to an external mic. Outside of the camera itself, I have a few different tripods that I use based on the angle that I need. I use an inexpensive Samsonite for normal vlog which is the one I'm using right now. And then I have a fancier Vanguard Alta with a ball grip that I use for my crafting tutorials because it has the ability to kind of hang down over my table when I'm working. And then I use this mini Coleman tripod for close-ups and for when I'm traveling. Because there isn't very much natural light in this room where I film most often, I use a three-point lighting kit and that allows me to film anytime, day or night, which is very helpful. <laughs> I'll put specifics for all the things I just listed in the video description in case you're interested. Beyond my basic video setup, I asked you guys on Twitter and Facebook what you wanted to know about video blogging. So here are my answers to some of your most commonly asked questions. Christy, Badger5, and Melissa's vlog wanted to know how I come up with ideas for videos and whether or not I script them. Whether an idea just hits me randomly or I get a suggestion from one of you guys, the biggest tip that I can share for coming up with and managing ideas is to write them down. I know that sounds simple, but chances are you're not going to be able to go and film a vlog immediately when you come up with an idea for one. I like using physical notebooks for this, but if I don't have one immediately accessible to me, I have an app that syncs between my phone and my computer, that way wherever I am I can write down my ideas and make sure that I don't forget them. And that way when I do have time to sit down and work on a video, I have a whole list of possible ideas that I can work on. I usually write out a script for my formal video blogs, but I don't always use it depending on how articulate I'm feeling at the time. I definitely have found that it helps me to have at the very least just a basic guide of what I want to say, that way I don't forget something in the moment and I don't have to go back and film it over again when I'm editing and I realize that I didn't say something really important. Autumn wants to know how I learned all of the techie stuff involved in editing and posting. I pretty much just learned as I go. It's a combination of trial and error and Google searching whenever I'm having a problem with something very specific. It does take practice and I've definitely gotten better at editing over time, but I pretty much just jumped right in and started. It can definitely be overwhelming at first, but if you're not even willing to try, you might not ever figure it out. I've used a handful of different editing programs over the years and I've taught myself to use all of them. Right now I'm using Final Final Cut Pro to edit, which is definitely my favorite of the programs that I've tried, but I've also had pretty good luck with free programs like iMovie. As far as YouTube and posting goes, I've usually found that pretty self-explanatory, but they tend to change their layout pretty often and then I have to kind of readjust. And if I ever do get stuck, I usually end up searching on Google for help articles or tutorials to get me out of that. Melanie, Abby, and Antonio wanted to know how to build an audience. And since Antonio asked for three specific things that I've learned to help me grow my channel, I'm going to give you three tips on this. Number one is to post consistently and in the best quality that you can, though know that you're going to improve over time once you've had some more practice. The more videos that you post, the more chances you'll have that somebody will be looking for a video like yours and maybe come across it in search results. That way if someone does find one of your videos and enjoy it, they might see that you have more videos like it and want to stick around. Number two is to collaborate and connect with other channels that are similar to yours. This can be someone you know or just someone that you think would fit your channel and audience. This is more likely to happen if you brainstorm and present ideas for the collaboration up front since it makes it a little bit easier on the person you're asking. I personally I am always looking for more video ideas, so if someone approaches me with an idea that I like, and I think their channel would be a good fit for my audience, then everyone benefits from the collaboration. In general, it's good if the collaboration involves one video for each of the channels participating, that way all of your audiences can experience the new channels. And number three is to engage with your audience regardless of the size. Answer their questions, contribute to the conversation, or even just say hello and thank you if they've said something nice. This does all kinds of great things. Primarily, it makes them happy. Not all YouTubers do this, so they might be pleasantly surprised by your reply. They might become more invested in your work since they've now made a connection with you. Other people might see that conversation in the comments and it might encourage them to comment and start their own. And it can also make things a lot more fun for you and motivate you to make videos more often. And along those lines, Paige and Chuck wanted to know how to stay motivated when you don't have an engaged audience 
audience yet and how to get past it when you start to feel that maybe nobody cares what you're posting. Starting a YouTube channel can be a lot of work if you want to post content regularly. If you're putting a lot of work and energy into something, you might start to get a little bit frustrated if your audience doesn't grow at the rate that you were hoping. Audience engagement has become one of my favorite things about running a YouTube channel, but nine years ago when I started this channel, I was not expecting anyone to actually watch it. I had already been making videos by myself before YouTube existed, but I just wasn't sharing them with anybody. Make videos that you love to make that you're passionate about regardless of how the audience responds. If you just start by sharing them with your friends and eventually you have a bunch of quality content on your channel, those friends might like your content enough to want to share it with other people. And if you're not actually having any fun making videos and your audience isn't growing the way that you hoped, maybe just take a break until you're excited to work on your channel again. I find myself doing this occasionally when I run out of ideas or I get really busy or even if I get an especially mean comment that knocks me down. And I find that taking a break can help my emotional state and get me feeling energized again. And that's it for today. I hope that this was helpful or interesting to you. If you have any more questions about starting a YouTube channel and making your own videos, leave them in the comments. And if you've been watching my channel for nine years, nine minutes, or somewhere in the middle, thank you so much for your support and for engaging with me on my channel. You guys have brought joy to my life and I am so happy to be able to share that with you through my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.